Now that we have seen how the filters and exports work on Sysref, let's take a deeper dive into the machine learning. Briefly, Sysref automatically builds machine learning models that predict for every Boolean and categorical label. This is a project that we conducted on Mangiferin, a substance found in mangoes. To make a long story short, we were interested in macro-level human health effects of Mangiferin. Since we were only interested in high-level data, that is, we did not need to be 100% thorough, we were able to leverage Sysrev's machine learning capabilities to optimize our time. As you can see, we only reviewed 206 of the 725 articles. We included some, we excluded some, a few conflicts, but they were resolved. As I continue to scroll, we can see a histogram. After a number of articles have been reviewed, Sysrev automatically builds machine learning models for each project on Sysrev. This histogram depicts Sysrev's machine learning model's prediction for inclusion. If I hide the unreviewed articles, this gets a little easier to see. The green bars represent articles that were manually included by humans. The red bars represent articles that were manually excluded by humans. And the x-axis corresponds to Sysrev's prediction, a 1 means that Sysrev is 100% sure that the article should be included, and a zero means that Sysrev is 100% sure that the article should be excluded. A score of 0 0.5 means that Sysrev doesn't know. As you can see, the model isn't perfect, although it is pretty good for being trained on 206 articles. That said, when one accounts for the distribution of the unreviewed articles, we can see that it's quite handy. Over one-third of the remaining articles have less than a 2.5% chance of being included. So basically, we wanted to leverage Cicero's machine learning to optimize our time. So that's what we did. We decided to be conservative and chose to include any article that Cicero thought had at least a 25% chance of being included. That reduced the total number of articles from 725 to 292. Of the 292, seventy-eight had already been included. And twenty-four had been excluded which means that over half of the 292 articles hadn't been reviewed by any human. Well, we took those 292 articles, exported the articles, and imported them into a new project for further extraction. One of the reasons that we wanted to optimize our review was that we were paying reviewers $2 per article, but that's a story for another time. As you can see, this project consists of the 292 articles that we exported from the previous project. Only this time, we were extracting a lot more information about the health effects. Was it a positive effect? How was a mangiferin administered? What organ was studied? And what species? As we've seen before, this bar chart acts as a link to filtered lists. Here are the 20 articles that were labeled as heart cardiovascular for organ. But let's say instead of looking at the labeled documents, I wanted to see which articles Cicero predicted were which organ. As I said, Cicero builds prediction models for every Boolean and categorical label. Let's say that I wanted to see the articles that Cicero thought had at least a 75% chance of being in the organ heart cardiovascular. If I look at the titles, I would hope to see terms dealing with the heart. Myocardium, cardiomyopathy, cardiotoxicity. Not bad. If I look at any one of the articles, I can of course see the labels that were extracted, but I can also see the individual predictions made by the CISREV model. CISREV was pretty sure that this study had to do with rats, kind of sure that the mangiferin was delivered intravenously, 
and pretty sure that the study had to do with the heart and cardiovascular system, as well as blood and serum, which makes sense. Obviously, with more training, these models would perform even better. One very interesting thing about the CISREV models is that CISREV is only building one model per project, and that the single model simultaneously predicts for every label via transfer learning. One possibility with this is building ensemble models. Briefly, the CISREV API allows users to programmatically push data to articles. In this way, users can push custom model predictions to CISREV in the form of labels. Once this is done, CISREV itself will learn from those labels and adjust its models accordingly. This is one of the many possibilities with machine learning and the CISREV API.